Welcome to A Journey Into Fitness. I'm Susan Rubenstein. So today I join you from the studio with some great exercise tips. So we're gonna work our whole body today. I'm gonna to call this total body conditioning. We're gonna get our heart rate up. We're gonna do some weight work. I brought along some bands today that if you have those at home, great. If not, you can always mirror the exercises with your weights or just using your own body weight. We're gonna work the lower body, get some exercises in with our lunges. We're gonna work our calf muscles. We're gonna take it to the floor, engaging our core. So yes, we're gonna to try to hit as much as we can in a short amount of time. Did you know that just to stay healthy, all you need to do is exercise for 150 minutes a week. Think about that. It's not all 150 minutes at one time. You can have five minutes here, 10 minutes here, 30 minutes here, 45 minutes here. Take your favorite class, go for a walk, go for a hike. As the weather starts to get nicer, there's so many opportunities to get yourselves outside. So think about that. Just investing in your health, 150 minutes a week, how that would make you feel. Maybe it would lower your blood pressure. Maybe you would drop a few pounds. Maybe your energy would go up. Maybe it would be a great way to just get out and socialize with people, especially after a long winter, if you've been inside a lot. So whatever your story is, I'm glad you're here today, but I want you to be smart about what you're doing. First time, maybe you wanna just kind of review and see the exercises that I'm gonna demonstrate. Maybe you should decide, is this right for me? Should I run this by my doctor? Or are there ways that I can modify? So with that all being said, and those are important things to think about, I want you to feel comfortable as you're exercising. So put on something that you feel good in, something that you can move in. If you like wearing your shoes, if you're inside, put your sneakers on, especially when we're tapping and moving and doing some exercises for our legs, we might want that stability around our feet. Bring some water along, bring a towel. If it gets warm in your house or wherever space you're working, maybe have a fan going for you but just make sure that your surroundings is set for a really safe and great experience, all right? So with that being said, we're just gonna take it through a warm up. You might even wanna put some subtle music just in the background so you can still hear me, but maybe your favorite beat is playing and that'll just give you a little bit more energy. All right, so let's take our feet to the outside of the hips. We're gonna take three big breaths. Inhale up, breathe out. Do it again, breathe in. And then out, one more time, big breath. Good, after that third breath, I want you to stay connected to your breath. We're gonna start easy toe taps. Ready to do that? Simple. So we have a nice wide stance. As I'm tapping, I'm gonna lift my shoulders. So it's a great way just to warm the upper body, pulling shoulders up and arms down, good. Now let's start to take those shoulders back. Do that a few times, loosening things up, good. Now I want you to put your hands onto your belly. Think about drawing your navel back into your spine. So we want to create that core stabilization. Good. From here, we're going to reach out. Good. Nice long extensions, dropping the shoulders, easy toe taps. So it's about connection. That's really what exercise is. It's about connecting with ourselves, getting healthier, getting stronger, right? So I was saying to a class this morning when we were doing a particular group of exercises that the exercise that we do sometimes sets us up for things that we do outside of class or outside of our routine. Say if we're a cyclist, I'm gonna change my arms and reach across as I'm talking. Keep your body moving. So if you're cycling, you wanna get those legs strong, right? You wanna develop some good core strength. If you're a runner, which I am, cross training is important. Getting those smaller muscles to really get stronger, not just the quads and the hamstrings, right? And the back. If you climb, if you hike, let's stretch over now. You wanna develop balance, right? Because you'll be on uneven ground. So that's something to think about. So the things that we do here, really are functional training. That's what it is for everyday activities, right? All right, drop the arms down. And if you're like me, I cannot wait to get back outside and really start to move. You know, we all get a little housebound in the winter. We get a little stiff. Now I'm gonna ask you to come to a march. Good, now bring your arms out in front. Can you lift your knees up? 
So keep your arms out just slightly lower than your chest. We're starting to get the legs moving with some heat, some circulation, but we're engaging those lower abdominals. Good. So I'm going to add a little elbow dip. I'm going to dip it right and left. Just keep going back and forth. Thinking again about your posture, the importance of standing tall. Good. Do that again. Good. Now I'm going to open up the arms to an A-frame and start to pull down. This is helping me to engage my back muscles a little bit more. Good. So notice I'm just moving in the warm-up. So we call this active warm-up. So we wouldn't want to just start to hold the leg in a simple, what we call static stretch. We save that to the end. Now, toe taps back. I'm going to drop the arms and really think about moving into those back muscles a little bit more. Good. Where's your breath work? So important to think about the breath moving from the belly. Now we're going to do hamstring curls as we row those arms. Play around with your hands. Squeeze and then release. Let's do eight more. Good. If you feel like jogging in place, you can do that as well. Good. Now I'm just going to tap it back. Good. So I'm crossing behind the body. Pay attention to your hip on this, okay? Eight more. Six. Four more. Now I'm just going to take this same move. I'm going to cross it front. Kind of V the elbows in, pulling them into the side. I can feel my obliques working here. Eight more. Nice and strong through those muscles. Four more. Good. Now, light jog. I'm going to tap the shoulders. Good. Keep going. And then I'm going to open the arms to a W. Tap the shoulders here. Good. Four more. All right, let's step it out nice and wide. I'm going to reach in, open up. So it's important to move our spine. So we're just warming up through flexion and extension. And then we're going to combine some rotation here, which is really important for your back every day. There are six different planes we should move through. Good. And then lateral flexion was taking it to the side. This is another great one I love to do. I also like this because it stretches out the hips. Good. Eight more of these. Take a deep breath. Good. Back to those knee lifts. Let's push down a little bit more energy here. One of the things I like about this particular exercise is how I feel the abdominals engaging. So you might notice that as well. And then again, it works posture. Good. Drop the elbows once again. So warm ups. Warm-ups about moving, really. You can put music on and just dance. You don't have to have a whole set routine. Good. All right, I'm going to start to slow this down. I'm just going to tap. Bring those shoulders back. So the first bit of exercise I'm going to show you is just using your own body weight. Then I'm going to start to add things, all right? I'll throw in some weights. I brought some different styles of bands. We'll do some floor work. So do what you want on this whole routine. Figure out what works for you, but try to get your minutes in. All right, let's take it out now. I want you to take it into a nice wide stance. I'm going to have you lean off to the right side. Nice long stretch here. Come up and then lean. Good. So we're a nice open leg stance. We're doing what's called a side lunge. I love these because I can really feel the hips working, the legs working. But that opposite leg, the opposing leg, right, from the one that we're lunging into is getting a nice active stretch here. Inner thighs get tight. And as I mentioned, I'm a runner, so I notice certain areas in my body, especially after long runs, they get really tight. So for me, active movement is important, but I try to incorporate some stretching into that that feels good. And then I also like to think about how I can train my body to be more efficient. Good. Let's do four more of these. Notice how the head stays lifted. The chest is lifted. Good. We're going to do a couple more, one on each side. And then come back. Good. Now, turn your toes out. Good. So 
we call this really a Y, what we call a sumo squat. The nice thing about this is that we're able to keep that neutral spine. So almost think about your, your spine sliding right into your tail. Put your hands to your waist. Reach out so that your knees reach out towards your toes. Your toes are turned out if you were to look at a clock at 10 and 2. So we're going to start down and squeeze up. So what I love about this is it gets me to work some of the smaller muscles in my legs. So we talk about adductors, inner thighs, and then abductors, outer thighs, right? So as we're moving the legs, let's add some arm resistance. So I want you to press your arms together. So as you're doing that, you're going to feel your chest muscles engage. Again, think about the strength in your back. Good. Doesn't have to be a big move, but the main thing is to keep that spine neutral. As your knees are reaching out, right? They're reaching out towards your toes, but not past. So remember that. Good. Four more. Three. Squeezing up. Two more. Now, I'm going to come down on my last one, lift the chest, and pulse here. Can you bring your arms up, maybe? Do you feel those ab muscles engage? Yeah. Good. Let's pulse it out. Push the knees out. Ten. Nine. Chest is lifted. Seven. Good. Six. Five. Four. Watch the knees. Maybe turn the heels in a little bit more. And one. Whew. Come up. Shake that out. All right. So for some of us, having that position is better on our knees and our back. Traditional squat. So many times we hear about people not really getting those squats down correctly. One fantastic way is to work on first wall squats. Everybody has wall space around them. You can do that against a wall. Then think about what you see there, how your knees are not going to pass the toes when you do a wall squat. So you get that same thing here. I'm squatting down and up. Squats are great for those big movers. Quads, buttocks, hamstrings, right? Firing up our glutes. So now as I come down, a little cue to think about not only seeing the edge of my big toe, but at the bottom of a squat, let's hold for a moment. I want you to feel that your knees are pressing towards the pinky toes of your feet. And I also want you to feel like you're pulling your floor apart, right? You're just snapping it right in half as you're at the bottom, and then squeeze it back together, put it back together. So if you think about that, sometimes just simple arm movements reminds us what to do with a different part of our body. Good. So you don't have to go super deep. You want to have those seats slightly above those knees. Good. Let's do 10 more. 10, 9, open chest. Good. Now notice I am coming forward a bit because this is creating what we call hip flexion. Good. We just want to try to remember to squeeze the back muscles. Good. I'm going to have you finish up this last four. So the important thing about exercise is learning the correct way. So you might find that what we do today, you want to add on to that at the end. So think of a few things that we do and spend a few more moments doing them yourself. Just do them correctly and just be mindful about how you're working. All right. So we did a couple great exercises there. Now, one of the things I like to work are lunges. I'm going to turn to the side for this and have you take your foot back. Now, the importance of squaring shoulders over hips, hands to the waist. As you come into a lunge, and you might have to adjust the distance between front and back foot, you're going to drop down, bend the knee. Now, that back knee stays under your spine. Front knee tracks between second and third toe, and then come up. Good. You're going down and up. Now, if you feel too close, step back. And you can always modify that. Now, can we bring arms up? Push down. So we can create a little resistance here. Reaching, squeezing the arms as we push. Good. Coming down. So I always have to watch out for my knees. After all these years of teaching fitness, you know, the knees start to feel it. So with lunges, I just got to be careful. Some days it's just not a good day for me to lunge. Good. Couple more. I'm going to change it up a bit. Two. Good. On this last one, I'm going to have you come down, bring your hands together. Now, notice how this back leg is in, or the front leg rather, is engaged. Tap the back foot in. Good. Now you're up on the toe. I want you to tap back and in. Now notice you're just tapping back and in. If you want to go a little bit deeper, you could tap back into your lunge and come up. So you decide what works. The main thing is keep that front leg engaged. 
Let's do 10 more. You should be feeling a little bit of a burn here. You can bring your arms back up. Core is engaged. Eight. Pull that navel into the spine. Seven. Good. Six. Good. Five. Four more on this. Are your shoulder blades drawing in towards your spine and down? We've got a couple more to finish. Last one. Now shift forward and now find a gaze point, balance and pulse. Balance, how important is that, right? Two minutes a day, that's how long we should be doing it for. Knit your ribs in, feel that nice strong core. Take your arms out or keep them in front of you. Make sure that you're not rotating this right hip out. Try to keep it balanced. You can turn your toes slightly out just to release the hip flexor. Four, three, two, and one. Whew, shake that out. All right, let's take a little stretch away from the side that we were on. Good, all right, you ready? So now we have the other side. So I'm gonna still turn in this position because I kind of want you to get the perspective of what it looks like from both sides. So now I step back. So now you get to see a little bit more of that front leg, right? Shoulder back, tap in. You ready? You're gonna come down and up. Simple lunge. So those of you doing the regular lunge, stay where you are. Those of you interested in a modification, step about halfway in. Sink back, notice that, right? Still getting good alignment? Knees still not going past your toe. It's a great alternative. Good, let's do six more. Six. Breathe. Four. So sometimes it's just nice to count, right? Keep track of what you're doing, especially if you're exercising by yourself so you don't start daydreaming. Good, bring it down. All right, so now notice that front leg is engaged. I'm gonna invite the back leg in. I'm ready to go. Drop down, tap it in. Down, now remember you can always do the alternative. Just step back, bring it in. Try to stay nice and low. That's the tricky part. Because as soon as we start to feel that burn, we wanna get out of it right away. Good, six. Five, you don't need to rush these. Four, three, two more. Final one coming up. Good, shift your weight, hold and pulse. Keep reaching up, good, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, nice job, stretch it over, all right. So I'm gonna throw in a couple other things. Now, I'm gonna give you an alternative, all right? So I brought along weights, right? And two styles of bands. So the reason why I say I'm giving you an different options here is because you may have something like this at home. You may not wanna use anything at all. So let's just quickly review before we start. So this double loop band, which you can buy a regular band and loop it, is great for some chest work that we're gonna do, right? Take it down, right here, take it up. I'm gonna combine it with some upper body. Alternative to that, you've seen these before, right? These, these bands, they're very inexpensive to purchase. They're another great tool, bringing them out, overhead, right? Or if you're feeling strong, pick up our weights, all right? So you can choose to use your bands and you can also opt to use weights or nothing at all. All right, so we're gonna start. Weights in front, shoulders down. Don't make, make sure they're not heavy weights. Start with the lighter ones. Ready, we're gonna open, squeeze closed. So I want you to really think about how you're working your back muscles, right? So we're squeezing our shoulder blades together. The key here really is because so many times with our work in our back, we feel how those muscles are not that strong because our chest is overdeveloped, right? So we wanna concentrate on drawing shoulder blades in and together and then apart. Now, if I wanted to, I could add some squats. So today I'm really giving you a lot of different options, right? 
So with total body conditioning, notice I'm working more than one muscle group here. Good. Six. Five. Good. We're going to do four more. Four. Three. Last two. One more. Good. All right. Now, let's go back to that sumo squat. Take the weights out here. Again, you can be using your band. I'm going to have you turn your knees and toes out to 10 and 2. Push out. Bring it in. Right? All right. So those of you using weights, keep it going. Keep the legs going. I'm just going to trade off. Show those of you using your band. Great way to stretch. Bring it down. Bringing it out. Bringing it down. Beautiful. Keep going. Those of you that might like the double loop style, same thing. Out and in. So whatever you're doing, let's do six more. Five. Good. Four. Three. Last two of these. One more. Good. All right. Now for the last exercise, I'm going to do some heel raises. You're going to take your band. You're going to have it slightly back, all right? So if you were to drop the band behind you, it would touch more of the back of the skull. You're going to pull and release. So option, heel raises. Get those calf muscles working, right? Because they're an important part of how we work out. Good. Now, if you feel like adding a shoulder press, so those of you using the band, this might be perfect. Keep going. Those of you that want to go back to your weights, bend your knees, pick them up. Good, let's do some shoulder with heel raises, right? So we're really hitting those back muscles here. I always say, if you don't have a lot of time, pick one part, one section, but combine it with something else. So say for your upper body, it's gonna be a back day. Maybe a back day with some bicep curls, okay? Can you incorporate some sumo squats, some smooth lunges? There's so many things you can do, there are a variety. So each month, there'll be different exercises that you can follow and add on. Let's do four more, because I want to make sure we hit the floor. Three, two, a little bit of balance. Can you lift your heels? Can you take those weights out or stretch that band across your chest? Good, and then release. Let's just do some simple hammer curls. Good. So those of you with your band, you may want to just pick it up. And then just curl up and down. Good. All right. So we've got about five more minutes until we're finished. So I'd really like to take you to the floor. So add a few more bicep curls here. Three. Good. Two more. And now at the top, if you have your band, push out a little bit. If you have your weight, pulse up a little bit. You know what I mean? Just pulse up. Good. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Super. All right. Let's take it onto the floor, shall we? So I'm going to invite you to come down onto your hands and your knees. Feel free, though, to use some wall space for the next exercise we're doing. So we come down. We want to engage the core, square the shoulders and the hips off, walk out into a table. As Soon as you get into that table, roll your elbows in. Now, slide your right leg back. So now your leg is extended. Now I want you to lower the leg. Lift the leg, reach the opposite arm out, touch it down. So it's down, up, reach, release. Down, up, reach, release. Can you pull those ab muscles in a little bit more? Every time you come up with that leg, squeeze your glutes. Reaching, good. Six more. Six. Last five. Good. Pull that core in. Four more. Four. Final three. Good. Two more. One more time. Now come up. Hold. So this simple exercise. Balance, right? Core, ab work. Toning through seat. Engaging through your leg. Lots going on. Set the hand down. Bring the knee in. Stretch back a little bit. Ah, oh, that should feel good. All right, come on up. Spread your fingers. Slide the other leg out. So now you get the, the view of the stationary leg and the active leg. Ready? Come down, up, raise the arm. Down, up. If you feel like taking that arm out, 
causes a little too much instability. It's good to have some, but if you're just not feeling like you can maintain proper alignment, then just keep your hand down and work the leg. Good. Keep going. Good. We want to finish up strong. Good. Let's do three more. I love this one because there's so much going on. Two more. Come up one more time. Lift, hold, center your weight, pull those stomach muscles in, reaching out long, and then releasing. Good. Take those knees back, drop it down. Beautiful. All right. So I'm going to take you around now quickly. We're going to finish up on our back. What I like about bridges is it's a really safe way to strengthen those back muscles again that I've talked about a lot today. So let's settle our spine to the ground. Feet are flat. Relax. Good. Now, knees are hip width. Feet are flat. Navel's pulled in. I want you to lift the fabric of your pants. So whatever you're wearing on your lower body, lift it up just a couple inches. Good. Anchor your arms. Now, squeeze up. Come down to that spot. Don't let your hips drop. Good. Now, you can always incorporate a little bit of arm work, stretching your arms up. Now, what if you had your weights in your hands? Could you do some tricep extensions, right? Maybe you could do some chest presses at the same time. Maybe you could do some chest flies. Maybe you could just work on keeping those arms up. Or maybe you just want to work the seat. Good. So we don't have a lot of time, so I just want to finish up these last few. But again, take a handful of these exercises and keep going when we finish. I'd love to see you do that. Let's do four more. Four. Three. Two, bring the last one up, hold it. So now let your arms drop, turning this into a nice little stretch here through the lower back and release. Hook right ankle to left knee, drop the knee over. Good. So always allow yourself a few moments at the end to stretch. We don't really have a lot of time, but I hope that you'll take the time as we wrap up to continue to stretch your body out. If you've got time to do a little yoga or if you can stay and watch another show, that might be what's next. All right, let's drop those knees. Now I'm going to have you roll to the side and come up to seated. Total body conditioning, right? Kind of hit a little bit of everything today, which is really important. So 150 minutes a week is all you need. Let's take a little neck stretch as we talk about that. So 150 minutes, right? So time it out. So on your busy day, give yourself 10 minutes of a workout, right? Give yourself five minutes of just moving your body, something aerobic, right? Cardiovascular, get your heart rate up. And then maybe do your squats. Maybe do your wall squats that day. I love wall squats because it helps with posture. Let's take a little twist here. Maybe when you've got 20 minutes, incorporate some more weight work or more balance work. And again, two minutes a day, you should be practicing your balance. If you've got 30 minutes, can you take it and move it to the next level, maybe going outside? And then maybe you've got time to do a whole class in 30 minutes because you don't need an hour or two hours for a workout. So just keep adding that time and then maybe 150 minutes a week turns to 160, turns to 200 minutes a week. So I'm Susan Rubenstein and I hope you enjoyed what we did today. Keep growing, keep getting stronger, drink plenty of water, eat healthy, clean foods, and you'll feel great. Your body will thank you. Have a great day.